All right, today we're going to read Masters of Spinjitzu Ninja Go series. Okay? All right. How so, do you show that? Huh? Okay. Meet the team. As the sun rose over Ninja Go, four young ninja pulled a wagon up a tall mountain. They were on a quest to find the scythe of quakes, one of the four weapons of Spinjitzu. In the wagon sat Sensei Wu, their teacher. Kai, the ninja in red, was the newest member of the team. So, where did Sensei find you three? Kai asked the others. I was testing my limits, answered Cole, the ninja in black. I climbed the tallest mountain without any tools, but when I reached the top, Sensei Wu was there, drinking his tea. I was testing my invention, said Jay, the ninja in blue. Jay had made a pair of wings. He tried to fly, only to crash and find Sensei Wu there. He was waiting on a nearby rooftop, drinking tea. And I was testing myself, said Zane, the quiet ninja in white. Zane was meditating at the bottom of a frozen lake, and somehow Sensei Wu was there, underwater, drinking his tea. What? Yeah, isn't that funny? He's un Sensei Wu is underwater drinking his tea. Why? Uh, he just is. Okay. Next chapter, the plan. Stop, Sensei Wu cried suddenly. The ninja came to a halt. A large canyon stretched out in front of them. Skeleton warriors were digging into the side of the mountain. The caves of despair, Sensei said. Samukai must be close to unearthing the size of quakes. Remember, do not use the weapon, Sensei Wu warned, for its power. Yeah, 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 Jay said. He had heard this from Sensei before. Its power is too much for us mortals. He turned to his friends. All right, guys, let's chop sake this lemonade stand. Cole, you got a plan? Sure do, Cole replied. First, we... Hey, where's Kai? Kai hadn't waited to hear the plan. The ninja saw him sneaking past the skeleton warriors in the canyon. Let's go, Jay cried. Stealth attack. Jay, Cole, and Zane jumped into the canyon. They saw rocks coming out of the caves on a conveyor belt. The skeleton warriors checked each rock, looking for the size of quakes. One of the warriors spotted Kai, but before he could cry out, the other ninja jumped him. Bam! Pow! Crunch! Cole, Jay, and Zane made sure the warrior couldn't sound the alarm. Kai hid behind some big rocks. He looked up at a tall tower in the middle of the canyon. Inside, he saw Samukai, king of the underworld. The map, Kai cried. The map showed where the four weapons of Spinjitsu were hidden. Samukai had stolen it from Kai's blacksmith's shop. Nearby, two skeleton commanders were checking rocks on the conveyor belt. Cole, Zay, Jay, and Zane slid right under them, but Cruncha and Nakao didn't notice. I found something, Nakao cried, holding up a rock. That's another rock, you bonehead, Cruncha yelled. But it's shaped like a donut, Nakao said. I wonder if it tastes like one. Crunch, Nakao bit hard on, into the rock. Ow! Kai climbed to the top of the tall tower. Cole, Jay, and Zane joined him. Jay smacked Kai on the head. What's the matter with you? Shh, Kai warned. He nodded toward, he nodded toward a, tower, a hole in the tower roof. Inside the tower, Samukai was ready, reading the map. It's upside down, Jay realized. They're digging in the wrong spot. The size of quakes. Next chapter. The golden weapon is near, Zane realized. He tied a shuriken to a rope and tossed it down the hole. Samukai didn't see it. The shuriken grabbed the map, and Zane pulled it up through the hole. There's no time to waste, Kai said. He did a backflip off the tower and ran off. What is it with this guy? Jay asked, always in a rush. The ninja raced after Kai toward the spot where the side of quakes were, was hidden. A big rock blocked the entrance. Ko, Jay, Kai, and Zane worked together to push it aside. The size of quakes lit up the dark cave. The weapon lay on top of a statue of a dragon's head. That is so cool, Jay cried. His voice echoed through the cave. Shh, not so loud, Ko warned. He jumped on top of the statue, grabbed the weapon, and tossed it to Kai. Now, let's sneak out while those boneheads are still busy, he said. Behind them, the statue's mouth slowly opened. The ninja, an escape gone wrong. The ninja walked outside the cave, right into Samukai and his warriors. Samukai opened all four of his arms wide. Each bony hand held a sharp dagger. The ninja drew their swords and charged ahead with a battle cry. 
he ya Over the planks, Jay cried, jumping from warrior to warrior, knocking them down. Dodge the swords! Jay somersaulted over the heads of the sword-waving warriors. Here comes the dummy, he finished, spinning into another warrior. Next chapter, Masters of Spinjitsu. Jay kept spinning faster and faster and faster until he became a glowing blue tornado. Spinjitsu, Cole cried. So Jay was spinning faster, faster, and faster. Jay, what's the key? Kai called out. I'm just going through the motions, Jay yelled back. Kai remembered the training. He jumped, he somersaulted, he spun. He became a spinning tornado. Cole and Jay Zane got it too. Soon, all four ninja were using spinjitsu, taking out skeletons left and right. So they were spinning around like a whirlwind. Next chapter. Enter the dragon. Retreat, Samukai shouted. The four ninja chased Samukai and his army out of the cave. Cole flexed his muscles. Guess they didn't want any more of these babies, he bragged. Then, he heard all, then they all heard a strange growling noise behind them. Um, didn't Sensei say there was a guardian protecting the wind weapon, Zane asked. The dragon statue wasn't a statue at all. It was a real dragon. The huge beast slowly rose to its feet. Is that 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 what I think it is? Cole asked nervously. I sense we will not be able to spin our way out of this, Zane remarked. The dragon reared back, opened its mouth, and blasted the ninja with a blazing orange flame. Ah! The ninja cried as the blast knocked them down. Come on, keep going. Ko, Jay, Kai, and Zane raced away as hot dragonfly fire licked at their heels. Kai got a gleam in his eye. He removed the cloth that covered the scythe of quakes. Bad idea, Kai, Jay warned. Sensei told us not to use it. But Kai didn't listen. He ran up to the dragon. Bam! Kai swung the scythe and brought it down to the cave brought it down on the clay floor. The ground began to tremble and crack. The dragon lost his balance and fell. We've got to escape, Cole yelled. Teamwork. The four ninja raced away, but the dragon wasn't down for long. It started to chase them. We can use spinjitsu, Cole cried. He tried. He started to spin, and his friends did the same. Soon, four glowing tornadoes were swirling up the cave's walls, heading for an opening in the ceiling. Cole, Jay, Kai, and Zane escaped through the hole before the dragon could catch them. That was so awesome, Cole cheered. He gave Kai a high five. Yes, we are unbelievable, Kai yelled. We are the best, Zane said proudly. Did you see that, Jace? asked. I was like, pow, bam. Sensei Wu joined the four ninja. Kai, you are part of a team now. Do not forget that. Sensei, start, turn around. Come, there are three weapons left. The four ninja followed Sensei Wu out of the canyon. Now that they had master spinjitsu, they were ready for their next adventure. Good.